Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor. I would love it if you would subscribe down below if you like my videos. Today's video is a collaboration with Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen and Shauna from Mrs. Dickinson. They put together this open collab for all kinds of chicken recipes. So if you need some chicken inspiration, make sure you click the link down below so you can check out the playlist. I know there's going to be lots of great chicken recipes for you guys to check out. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a quick and easy cheddar crusted chicken recipe. So let's get into it. Here are the ingredients we're going to need for the cheddar crusted chicken. I have two boneless skinless chicken breasts that I have cut in half. So I have four pieces now. Now they are thinner and they will cook faster because we are going to cook these on 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. And then I've got a little bit of sour cream. You'll need about a tablespoon per piece of chicken. Got half a cup of these crispy baked crackers. Uh, you could do breadcrumbs. I've done panko breadcrumbs or you could do some sort of cracker. These were really good. I bought these to eat and the problem was the ones on top were not crushed but the ones at the bottom were super crushed so instead of just tossing out the bag I decided to use it as a breading. And I've got another flavor too. I think it's the smoked gouda that I'm probably going to use for some mac and cheese but I just took about a half a cup of that and then we have a cup of cheddar cheese and then we're just gonna need some salt and pepper and that's it guys it's super quick and easy so to start off I'm gonna go ahead and season these pieces of chicken on both sides with some salt and pepper Next, I'm gonna take the sour cream and put a drop on each piece of chicken and then spread it out. Now I have a bowl and I'm going to mix together the cheddar cheese and the breadcrumbs. And then we're just gonna spoon that on top of each chicken breast, trying to press it in as best as we can. And that is it into the oven at 425. This is gonna go for 15 to 20 minutes till the chicken is cooked all the way through. Okay, I cooked my chicken right at 20 minutes and here is how it turned out. It is perfect. I already cut up the kids and tasted it. It's delicious. So that is the recipe. And that is it for this recipe. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget that this was a collaboration. Make sure you click the playlist link down below so you guys can get some more chicken ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.